video is about the use of the ROI template, getting started with writing an ROI, and the use of the resources page. What is the ROI? It's the report of investigation. We have written a lot of those over the years. And if you go to our website and click on investigations, you'll see a selected list of them. These are the ones that we have gone over and redacted, sorted by year. Feel free to have a look at some of them. As you do that, you will note that the ROI has evolved over the years and will continue to evolve. Right now, we're using an October 2020 template, and we will continue to develop it and make it better. So what is the purpose of the ROI? Well, let's have a look at it so you can get a, a feel. So we'll just open up the template. This, there's two formats here. There is the Google Drive format, which I normally recommend, especially if you're going to collaborate with somebody else on the investigation. And we also have a Word version, and we can add more. It doesn't really matter what platform you edit it on. What matters is the content. So let's have a quick look. Okay, that's the beginning of the, so it goes on for several pages. This also has some comments over the side that are just for the investigator to provide some guidance. Now, what I recommend is that when you start an investigation before you do hardly anything else, as soon as you have a case number and a case folder, go and grab one of these templates right click on it select make a copy and as soon as the copy is available move it to your case folder using the move to i'm going to get rid of that one because i'm not going to use it right now now so let's go and look at the roi template and get an idea of what we're trying to do here. What is the purpose of a report of investigation? There are really two main purposes. One is to collect data as completely and thoroughly as possible about each case. So we have a lot of little table entries and other fields in this report for data. Now, not everything is relevant to every case. That's not the important thing. The important thing is that you go through it all and check, do I need to do this? Doesn't make sense for this case. And if I do, then I need to check it, check it out. And if I don't or I can't, I need to make a note of that. So when you get this, first thing you do is you put it in there and you put in your case number and your name under field investigator, or there may be more than one of you, put in both names. And you also at that point probably have the class, which is essentially the valet classification, the rating, well, usually a one, two, or three. Um, you won't have probability and strangeness yet. You're going to, that's what you're going to develop over the course of the investigation. You will have the name of the witness. Put the actual name in. This is not the redacted form. And their email. And I think we're probably going to add a field for telephone number in case uh, we need to contact the person by telephone. You might also have some additional information like the date and time of the incident and uh, the location, put those in. At that point, if, if you want to hold off until you've done more work, you can stop there. But now you've got your ROI started. It's in your case folder. You want to go down here to the second page and type in the case number here, and that will follow all the headings as, it, as you go down through the pages. And what's eventually going to happen here is we're going to fill in every field, even if we have to say it's not applicable. And we're also going to make text notes here, case synopsis, investigative results. And then further on down, there's a fairly lengthy section, or can be quite lengthy depending on the case, investigative activity where you will document uh, everything you did for the case. So we gather, we collect data, and we document our, our activity and our analysis so that if someone wants to come in and see what we did, what we didn't do, what we thought about, what we didn't think about, it's all there in the ROI. And they can use that if they want to follow up with the case or just use the case 
as a similar case to some other case they're working on. Now, in the future, we are going to take these ROIs and put them into a database. Uh, and so that evolution towards that capability has begun, but it's going to take a while. So right now, you could think of it as just like a Word document or some other document. And um, we're just going to fill in these these fields. And that's essentially what you do. Now, how do you get this information? There's a lot of information down here, things like weather and and sunrise and sunset times and so on. What, when, what time did the moon rise? The best places to get that information online will vary over time slowly. Uh, there are some good apps that you can put on your phone, or you can also get them online. And so what we have is we have a resources page. And I'm going to show you that real briefly. If you go to our website and you click on resources, there you go. It's a list of what we think are currently the best resources. As you go through these and you find some that are either not working or the link has changed or you found better ones, let us know. We'll update the page. We update this page several times a year. It was most recently updated in 25 May. It's probably going to get updated in June and July this year as well. So go through it. It's got a lot of things. It's got a lot of useful information including some desktop applications, some mobile apps. And if there's anything you want to know about that's not on here, let us know. We'll find out what the best resource is. Or perhaps you can do some digging and let us know. So that's the introduction to the ROI. I will go down through these individual parts later in a later video or, or, or two or three and that will wait until we've updated this template for 2021. And because there will be some new fields added, we won't take any away so much, but we'll add some new ones. And I'll show you how to get the information that, that we need for this and how to enter it and what some of the wrinkles are. And that's it for this one. And stay tuned, there will be more on the ROI, but the best way to learn the ROI is to write one. Once you've written it a few times, you'll understand it pretty well. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. So, see you next time.